Hi friends, I have come up with Google Forms today. So how to prepare Google Forms? These are very important to conduct online tests or collecting feedbacks and all these things. So let us see how these Google Forms will be prepared and how the analysis can be done based on these Google Forms. Let us see the applications first. The main applications are preparing online quiz. So we can prepare the quiz paper. So that is preparation of the question paper and sending the same question paper through mail or link. Okay, this can be done through this automatic evaluation. So no need to evaluate. So if you give the question and if you give the answer, the computer or Google itself do, do the job for you. So evaluation can be automated and automatic result analysis. Even the result analysis can be automated. So how many students got how many marks and in which question how many students got correct answer and how many students got very less answer and all those things will be discussed in our video and coming to the next automatic upgradation and immediate results for example if i am seeing the result analysis of 20 students and suddenly one one more student has added up and he has submitted the form through online so immediately all those things will be modified and the results will be shown immediately okay that's the greatness of this thing next collecting feedback so this these forms are essentially used to collect the feedbacks of maybe student feedback or the institute feedback or exit feedbacks or so many feedbacks are there so for those feedbacks we can use these forms so on a collective manner we can say that it's the data collection so data collection of so many things maybe feedback or data collection of pan numbers pan card number other card number and all these things can be done so the end by collecting all these things we can say that this is the used for data collection and registration forms for various events this is also comes under data collection only data collection but still this is a very great thing in these days if you conduct an event the collection of data of the participants is very difficult if these type of forms are not there if these type of type of forms are there you can simply frame the form and you can simply throw the form through whatsapp facebook twitter maybe your group mails whatever it may be so these are the so many ways of sending the information and giving the opportunity to participate in various events so let us see how these things will be done in a proper manner first this is the google account so you, you can easily see this is the google account how we can open our gmail especially this is the google mail if you go here you have google applications at the rightmost side maybe just left side of your google account page so account icon so there is google apps so if you click on them you will get drive here so just click on the drive yeah this is the drive in this if you right click here yeah, you will get Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. So these are all dynamic things. For example, if you create a doc here, that means it is the just like MS Word. If you if you type something and if you save here and you, you go out and if you try to modify the same, you can come here and you can modify here. It will be automatically saved. Okay, that's the greatness of these things. Maybe google docs google sheets google slides all these things are also popularly used in many of the industries including educational industries also so now let us open let us come to more and google forms let me open blank form here yes this is the this is my blank form now i can write whatever i can here first i want to uh, introduce you with the google form with multiple choice questions so which is very popular type of questions in these things so first we i like to modify the name let me change the name into 
let let the name of this is india okay india is my country yes and if if i click here this is the name and i can write some sub name also form description so this is maybe regarding india now let me come back to questions so how to write the question so here we can write the question um, let me write the question what is the capital of india and the options will be like this maybe new delhi then say enter mumbai kolkata yeah these are the things and this question if you want to make this question to be compulsory that means the uh, person who is who is uh, attempting the form should cannot go without answering this question then you need to write here as required and you can write the answers also so the answer will be written that can be modified here this is the color how to change your color and come to settings here this is general this is presentation and this is quizzes so i want to make it as a quiz so that i can write the answer and the respondent can see yeah if the person who is responding for these forms he can see the correct answer after filling up the questions so i like to remove these two points and i like to save this that's all if this is the thing here you can if you whenever you change this form into the quizzes definitely it will give you the chance to write the correct answer so let me answer this the answer is new delhi just click on it and just give the points let me give one point this done here that's all so this is the thing india is my country is my google sheet form and the first question is what is the capital of india and these are the answers or options and the correct answer is new delhi so just click it so this is the thing so if i want to shift this this is the first question if i want to add one more question i can come here and i can add the question if i want to repeat the question i can come here i can make it duplicated if i want to delete the question i can delete here so these are the different options once you open it and once you get the experience of these things you will get it very nicely and this is important questions and this is add title and description so if you want to make it into two parts for example india i want to give some questions on north india i want to give some more questions on south india then i can give the title like that if i want to add any picture i can add here if i want to add any video i can add here if i want to make them into see into sections i can also make them into sections so these are the different options will be available here and those are some other options which are available here those are i can make it into short answer and paragraph multiple choice questions check box type drop down type next linear scale multi choice grid check box grid so all these things are the different types of asking questions and here i can change the color so if you like to change the color we can and if you like to put any image so google will give you some images okay let me uh, put this image books inset that image will be inserted here like this so th these are the different options of the google form so let me close this and this is preview so you can see the preview and how it will be visible to the other persons see this this is the thing these these are the settings so this was already discussed and suppose if you you don't like to allow your student to answer a question two times or three times then you need to click here as limited to one response 
okay he has to answer the questions at only once that's all and please save here so these are the options and how we can make the questions and how we can make give the marks also we can also give different types of marks maybe if this is very difficult question i can give more marks if it is a long answer question i can give more marks that's up to me and how can i give the marks so this is the things and here responses will be there and i will show you all these things in the next example so this is how we need to frame a google form so i have already framed one of the google forms with different things that is called india so this is multiple choice of question the first question and the second question is what is india so this is the short answer type question so here we need to write the short answer and this is the we need to write the long answer here also we can simply tick it tick type questions and these are the different type of questions so which is here also we can write drop down this is drop down type of questions so we can click the things here and here the different uh, types of that means this is the population in india according to your view that means it may be low or somewhat higher 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 and it is going higher so th these are the things so for teaching feedbacks these things can be used and this frame is called multiple choice grid type questions and this is also check down type grid type questions so like this so many types of questions have been framed here and recently i have made four type four types of uh, google forms and out of which i like to show you one of them and how it will work out see let me see let me show you the res mid questions how to see the analysis and all these things so i have framed this these questions for my students and uh, in these holidays so the different responses are here there are 21 responses let me see the summary of it the average mark is 6.43 out of 10 and the median is 7 out of 10 and the range is 1 to 10 points that means like we can get 1 point or 10 points and frequently missed questions are this question and this is correct and correct responses are 10 out of 21 and this question is also frequently missed out and only 8 persons have correct answers out of 21 and these are the different scores of email ids of my students and the scores of my students and this is the score released in which date and which time and these are the things yeah this is the first question so what is your name and the second question third question like that see the questions are also very uh, the analysis is like this the question wise analysis that means if this is the first question uh, out of 21 students 14 students got the correct answer and the remaining students got different answers for example if this one student is frequent many students are frequently missing one question and the for example if four persons are missing this question based on this if they may be proper reason or very small misunderstanding is there i can go and discuss with them and those things can be done by using this type of analysis for example this is 15 it's okay 17 10 c this is pmsc seven people have misread it that means there may be some confusion between fixed speed with scig and pmsc so that i need to refer them and that i need to clarify with these seven students Okay, in that way I can improve the teaching quality and I can improve the doubts in the students and I can make the subject more clear and I also I can make the students towards the subject. So these are the things in, in this way one question wise analysis will be there that is that come under summary. And the next one is question only questions here see. Yeah, this is first question. So name of the student is the first question. So, okay. This is question wise. For example, I want to see the fifth question. For example, this is first question. Second question is roll number and third question is 
the main questions okay i want to see the fifth question and how the fifth question will be answered by the my students see fifth question there are 17 responses are correct so three responses are dfiz and one response is fixed speed with sciz so i can directly chart with these students whether, whether these two students why they have opted this answer so in that way we can easily identify the students and we can easily go ahead with them with each and every question also and coming to individual individual this is the individual scores of one student so each and every student the scores are like this okay this this sheet will be given to the each and every student and at the end i want to save the entire thing in a in an excel sheet so i can click here yeah these things will be coming like this so these are the scores of my students and how they have performed and all these things everything will be come and each and every question will be like this so this this is the one of the advantages of this yeah here we need to click it to go ahead with the excel sheet so in this way the google forms are very important and the google forms are very easy to create the questions and to do some data collection surveys and all these things so if you like this video please like it and kindly share with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel till date please do subscribe and kindly press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any video thank you thank you so much